All right, so we've got about 25 uh, attendees so far. Um, we will be getting started momentarily here, just a couple of minutes uh, as we uh, let the stragglers uh, roll in. Yeah. All right. Right. All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our webinar this afternoon. My name is Joan Shaw, and I'm co-president of Parks Industry. I have the honor of welcoming you to our inaugural Greater St. Cloud Talent Corps webinar today. I'm here today with Gail Kirkshank from the Greater St. Cloud Development Corporation, or GSD for short as well as Luke Reardon of Beta Marketing. This is the first of a series of webinars that are being presented by the Talent Corps of the GSDC. And this webinar is focused on our new website that was just launched uh, back this last fall. And the goal of the Talent Corps of the GSDC is to facilitate collaboration between businesses, educational institutions, workforce development organizations, and the talent pool to address workforce-related needs. And this new web portal that has been launched is one of the key tools that is going to help us with these workforce needs for both employers as well as job seekers. And that is what, exactly what today's webinar is focusing on. It's a great resource for both employers as well as job seekers. My company, Park Industries, is proud to be a funding partner of this updated and greatly enhanced portal to employment in central Minnesota. As an employer, this portal provide a lot of benefits to us. First of all, all of our uh, positions are automatically posted on the website and we don't have to do anything. Uh, they just show up as a result of the screening mechanism that has been incorporated into the portal. Secondly, the website utilizes a number of accessible resources to me as an employer to help me do a better job of both retaining as well as recruiting our, our talent. And then finally, sometimes my organization has to go outside of the central Minnesota region to find the talent that we need, drawing from the Twin Cities and beyond. And this portal showcases everything that we have here in central Minnesota, not only as a great place to work, but also as a great place to live, which helps to draw people into this area. On the job seeker side, the portal facilitates your search for providing one-stop shopping. It picks up all of the jobs that are posted in this region, as I talked about before, using that scraping mechanism. And so you only have to come to this portal to see everything that is out there. In fact, right now there's approximately 4,800 jobs across a variety of industries and companies and technical areas that are posted right now. The website also provides job seekers, just like the, uh, the uh, employers, with resources to make you more effective and landing that next opportunity. And then finally, if you're somebody that's outside of the central Minnesota region, it allows you to give an, give an idea of what it was, it's like to live and work right here in central Minnesota. So with that welcome and introduction, I'm going to turn it over to Gail Kirkshank and Luke Reardon to take it from here. Good afternoon. Thank you, 
Jones so much for kicking off our inaugural webinar. I am Gail Crookshank, Talent Director for the Greater St. Cloud Development Corporation, and uh, I am along with Cliff Gruden here to give you a showcase of this wonderful tour of this wonderful portal. So with that, I am going to let Luke get started and show you all this exciting resources that we have pulled together for you in our new Greater St. Cloud site. Thank you. All right. So we are going to turn off the webcam uh, now, and we're just going to give you the full viewing, uh, uh, full view of the the portal and uh, its associated sites as well. So as we go through this uh, webinar today, and this what I would have been calling a tour of these different community resources, please feel free to use uh, the webinar software to ask your questions. Um, and, and we'll log those there. We're not going to answer them as they come in, uh, but we will address uh, as many questions as we can and as time allows at the end. Um, it's fairly simple to use, and uh, just uh, feel free to start asking your questions as they come in, like I mentioned. Uh, the first thing to note that we're, that we're all viewing here today um, <clears throat> is the overview, or what we call the, the portal site. Now it gives us, what we're seeing is there's three options to uh, moving from left to right, going to Greater St. Cloud, where we can get information on what it's like to live uh, in the area, quality of life information, and so forth. I'm going to dive into each and every one of these, but um, just to touch on them briefly here. Uh, and then we've got the organization behind all this, uh, Greater St. Cloud Development Corporation, um, <clears throat> really the business development efforts uh, that go on here. This is where a lot of uh, fantastic business resources are available to uh, both investors and businesses who are interested in uh, the area as far as a way to grow their business. And then lastly, Greater St. Cloud Job Spot. Um, <clears throat> the, <clears throat> this is so much more than just a job board uh, where you can view the 4,700 jobs that are available right now in the area. This is a, a spot for employers uh, to go to find resources, local resources for potential employees to find those resources as well. Um, look at awesome events and sign up for awesome events like the one uh, you 40 uh, individuals have done so today. Uh, so take advantage of, of these sites as I'm going through this. Please don't let today be the only time that you, you, you view these sites and share them. Um, it, it truly is a resource. Somebody who uh, and myself being somebody who is a transplant into this area. I grew up in uh, yeah, central Wisconsin. I'm a Packer fan, which is a great way for me to say that to everyone when I'm on, when I've got you all on mute. And so I can't hear your responses to that. But coming into the heart of Minnesota, uh, in St. Cloud, and, and living here and having my business here now, I, I know so much more by by understanding the ins and outs of this site and all the resources that are here. We've got a great community and we finally have one spot where everything is connected that we can all get behind and share. So it's on all of us to continue to promote these, uh, these great tools. So like I mentioned, I'm first gonna dive right into uh, the live.greatersaintcloud.com uh, site. As you can see, we've got a great picture of downtown. Um, and I'm just gonna go through really briefly here. It's gonna seem like I'm moving fast. I encourage you to, to go through the site on your own um, after the, today's webinar and then of course moving forward. But you can see on the homepage here, just a great shot of downtown like I mentioned. Um, you do have the ability to search our site in case you're looking for something specific and you don't wanna uh, bounce around on all these tabs here. We do have some language options as well, which helps shows uh, how diverse our amazing community is. And then another way to show uh, the different navigation that we have visible uh, with some great pictures here of local businesses, employees, uh, health and wellness organizations, all the edu great education that we have available, some videos. You know, we didn't set out to create, recreate the wheel when we built this site. We want people to share information with us that we can add to this site. Uh, it's definitely not done. Um, and then one of the things that we knew from just being out and about in the community as a part of the Greater St. Cloud Development Corporation, you know, what is, what is Greater St. Cloud? Where is St. Cloud? Um, 
a lot of people um, just want to start there when looking at relocating to the area. This is a, a quick shot where they can show them the areas that we represent and some of the cities are highlighted here as well. And then we're going to be posting updates on the home page, different blog articles, news articles that uh, we think are great to, to share. Things like Hockey Day in Minnesota, uh, for example. And on this site, as, long, uh, as well as JobSpot, we list out our funding partners. Um, who we couldn't have done this uh, without them. So once again, we, we thank uh, them. And then some of the city and county investors uh, are listed below as well. But just scrolling back up to the top, we're going to go into the, the first tab under communities. So while that loads here, um, this really it doesn't describe every single community that we serve, but um, it does give a, a good overview of some of those bullet points, the different counties. And like I mentioned, we're not trying to own all the content here. Every one of these, whether you click on St. Cloud, St. Joseph, Sartell, we're linking to the city's websites and same with uh, the county sites. I know it can be difficult sometimes finding resources just because um, there's so many different uh, counties and cities in this greater St. Cloud area. Um, this is a great spot to bookmark and to come back to to find those uh, those pages or also share um, things like community pillars, things that uh, the community is doing in order to really promote uh, the quality of life here as well. Under the things to do tab, this is a personal favorite of mine, um, just because there's so many options um, that they have, things like the St. John's and, and the different sporting events that are available, but we've broken it down really into the things that we found that matter the most to potential uh, people who are interested in relocating here and all the great, just highlighting a lot of the assets that the community has. Um, you know, the division one hockey team to recreation and outdoors, all of these options are available. And what I wanna encourage uh, the, all the employers doing uh, here on this call is to make sure to use this site as a way to recruit uh, people who are interested in moving to the area. Maybe there's a traveling spouse involved. Um, this is a great site to send to those traveling spouses so that they can get to know the area, understand the arts and entertainment, uh, all the different things that we've got uh, going on in the uh, greater St. Cloud area. Jobs and careers, I'm gonna skip over that because that's gonna dive deeper into the, the job spot site itself, so I'll be coming back. And then under quality of life, there's so much great information here around just housing, um, different things out of you know, child care, things that you just might not be able to find uh, in, other, in other areas. And so I can just show you an example of what that looks like under the child care. One of the great links that I didn't know about actually until getting into this site is the search for child care options in Greater St. Cloud. For parents, if you're a parent or you, you've been through that stage of your life where you had to have child care, um, this resource right here, which is linked once again on our site, is a fantastic tool. And it's crazy. I know there's employees at Data Marketing right now who are either pregnant or thinking about getting pregnant. And this is a really big deal for obvious reasons, but there's two year wait lists uh, in some cases for in the home daycare situations. So to really get an understanding of where, what, what are my child care options, that's important for today's employees. And if it's important for today's employees, you should be sharing it with them as an employer and providing them educational resources around that. So um, go ahead and check that out. It's a great, great link. And just one example of the many uh, that we have listed under uh, quality of life here, things like housing, where we'll give some housing numbers, et cetera. Um, one of the other areas that I wanted to highlight too is the volunteering and faith section. Obviously, volunteering in the St. Cloud area, I've been very impressed with just how um, ready people are to give their time, money, and treasures to all the amazing organizations that we have here. Linked to United Way, who connect with so many different wonderful nonprofits. Um, we're a community of many, many faiths, and it is a great way for us to provide resources to potential employers of what kind of uh, faith communities are here and resources that they would have all right, with, uh, right at their fingertips. And um, it's fairly easy to navigate to so you can just move around the site uh, as you wish. And the integrated 
And then, uh, Gail, you want to mention something here, too? Well, I was just going to highlight, too, um, we are very proud of our Bowl North. And so uh, we have a special section right there that really just promotes what it is like to live in our, you know, wonderful world of Greater St. Cloud. And so um, I think, you know, as Hockey Day Minnesota came here and there was so much excitement about really being proud of the beautiful four season community that we offer. So we did want to highlight here that on our site as well. Yes, no, thank you for that, Gail. I think there's um, no hiding uh, our climate. So uh, let's be proud of it, right? The Bold North, um, the Super Bowl uh, slogan. So, um, and you can get some, you know, like I said, it, you're going to see a theme. We're linking to all these great resources um, throughout the site. So St. Cloud's uh, average temperatures, things like that. And then education, right? Another one uh, very important for parents uh, and, and more. Uh, just talking about all the, the local colleges, the fact that we have uh, nearly 26,000 college students in the area, it's a great message for potential employers who are looking uh, for employees within that demographic, but also just the fact that we've got a young, vibrant community um, that, uh, you know, is, loves to stay engaged in it. And so, um, you know, we've got information like that here, but then going into the for parents, um, just understanding some of the pre-K education, we've got a great link here that dives into a lot of details about District 742, all the new money that's moving towards an investment that's moving towards, you know, the, the new schools uh, that are going up uh, in the area. And, and then, a, you know, a really comprehensive list, uh, once again, of the area schools. Um, it's, it's pretty impressive when you see it all together, just how... Um, big and important the education system is. Uh, that's one of my takeaways when I went through this. I think we, we tend to think of St. Cloud as a, as a small area or a hometown feel, and, it, and it's got that, which is great. But look at the, the reach uh, and the resources that uh, we have, too, as far as education. So a lot of great information there. We also have information on Partner for Student Success. Now, we didn't uh, recreate the wheel with this one. Partner for Student Success, um, if you don't know about them, please get to, get to learn about their organization um, and what they do. But another example of how we're linking and encouraging uh, and promoting our great local resources and nonprofits um, as we, as it was one of the main reasons why we built out this site too. And then of course we do uh, go into more details on the higher education. Uh, something that uh, drew me here to the area, being a St. John's uh, alumni. So moving on into the health and wellness section. This is something that's obviously very important for many families and areas. And one of the things that Minnesota um, does well as a state, too, when it comes to health care, um, just talking about the amazing health care that, that we have in the area, uh, the 7,500 specialists uh, and medical staff that are here, obviously links to uh, our hospital and central care health system, uh, health partners, and uh, various other clinics uh, like Redu and uh, areas where you, of course, the, the Y. I mean, just all of these, um, you know, all these different locations and organizations, health-focused uh, entities that make uh, St. Cloud a healthy and vibrant place to live. Um, you know, with our new YMCA in the area, there's there's so many resources that we encourage you to look at. And of course, uh, even Greater St. Cloud uh, initiatives like uh, the one, Workplace Wellbeing um, is listed here so you can learn more about everything that the, the Greater St. Cloud area is doing in terms of promoting a healthier place to live. A lot of great options there. And then the last uh, menu item is business development. That's where it's going to take us over to, um, you know, we're going to get into more details of the business development site, which I'm not going to dive into today. Uh, but the business development site essentially, once again, is focused on uh, talking to employers, investors, and recruiting, uh, well, recruiting employee, uh, employers into the area and also working on retaining uh, the great employers that we do of course, so it's got more specific information on that. But um, without further ado, I'm going to dive in now to 
uh, the jobs and careers. Unless, Gail, you wanted to highlight anything that I might have uh, brushed over. No, I think you did an excellent job, Luke. Thank you. And as you're transitioning to the job spot portion, I just want to reiterate um, the really importance of that statement that Luke made at the beginning. Um, we are really hearing more and more that that potential job seeker is really wanting to secure community before they look for the career that they're going to be working at. And so we really do feel that this is critical for us to be able to showcase what a great growing region we have as far as diverse opportunities in job as well as community involvement. So, you know, be thinking of that as you are going through your recruiting um, practices for your company. Um, are you really showcasing the community as much as you're showcasing your company? Because it really is a joint decision when that candidate is deciding where they are going to be employed. So, with that, off to the job spot site. All right, yes. So I see we got some questions coming in to continue to uh, submit your questions as we go. Uh, once again, just to, to restate, uh, we're going to look at all those questions uh, right at the end, just so we make sure we've got enough time and we get uh, all you busy professionals and job seekers out back into the community um, as much as you're probably hopefully enjoying this webinar. So over to the jobs and uh, <clears throat> the job spot site. So here's the, once again the home page uh, of the of the or for the first time the, the Greater St. Cloud Job Spot website. You're going to notice that we do have another search option there. I'm going to get into that uh, momentarily here. But the first thing I want to highlight is the 47 or sorry 4,700 jobs, almost 4,800 jobs uh, that are available uh, in Greater St. Cloud, Minnesota right now. Um, Joan mentioned this a few times. Um, just the fact that we are now scraping um, using a uh, technology that allows us to scrape uh, jobs that are already listed on employer sites in the area and pull them all into one central location here. It's a technology uh, like no other in the area. Um, you just can't get this. Uh, uh, well, the only spot you can, you can get access to this, uh, these local jobs here is on Greater St. Cloud Jobspot.com. Um, now, this site updates every single night. So, when I talk about um, going out and scraping other sites, we rerun uh, the program. So, it goes and, and pulls those jobs, uh, like I mentioned, every night. So, if you post a job that day, don't expect it to be up there until tomorrow. And we've had a lot of great. Um, a lot of great feedback on the site already, but we want to continue to hear areas where you see it could be improved upon. Uh, so I'm going to talk about it like it's the greatest thing uh, next to sliced bread, because I do believe that, but also we want to make it better. Um, we, you know, we have a saying at data, we're never satisfied. And I think uh, Gail and I take that to heart here as well for the Greater St. Cloud job spot. Um, one of the things we wanted to do, I mentioned this earlier, we couldn't have done this without the investors and um, people who supported this entire effort. And so we have featured jobs that come from those organizations specifically. Um, so Joan is one of our uh, you know, fantastic employers in the area. And also we, we feature her jobs here. So we got the manufacturing engineer, um, elect electronics technician, and then um, at Coburn's uh, is also on that list, um, listing out some of their jobs as well. And you can see St. Cloud to Melrose, um, we have uh, openings uh, available. And those will continue to rotate. So as you saw that list of sponsors, uh, when Luke was on the home page, so every time that you refresh your screen, you should see three new jobs and you should see a new featured employer. So again, we had many supporters to make this happen. And and this is one of the ways we can, again, share their support uh, to bringing this website to you. Yes, exactly. So that featured employer is going to switch out. You can also view more by just clicking on that view more button there. Um, and one thing I haven't mentioned, but I probably should by now, um, over 60% of all searches conducted on Google are on a mobile device. You've probably got yours sitting out right next to you right now, or maybe you're on it, if, uh, if that is the case. Start looking at the screen again. 
but uh, it's really important that this site was mobile. And so we, we took that into account and, and made sure that it's uh, user friendly uh, on a mobile device as well. I talked about the resources early and we broke it down into job seeker versus employer resources uh, because those are two very different audiences. But uh, one thing that I cannot hit home on enough is that these, these types of resources are everywhere on the web. You can do a Google search and find generic information on both topics. But what you cannot find uh, anywhere else except for here are how, you know, the local information that we have. And, and yes, you can find it in certain areas, uh, you know, maybe the city of St. Cloud or city of Sartell might have some information on this, but we pull it all together. So we're sharing their resources in one central location. Uh, and talking about uh, the local uh, resources specifically. Once again, we have those funding partners listed out on this site, and I'm um, just going to scroll back up um, to the uh, the main site here, and I'm going to really just dive in and conduct a search uh, just to show you exactly how it works and all the features that are available because this to me is where the rubber meets the road with the technology that we have and uh, the value that this tool brings for both job seekers uh, and employers. So I'm just gonna start out with an example of computer science and conduct a pretty simple search here. So you're gonna see it's gonna already show me some computer science examples, but if I go ahead and click search, it's gonna display 78 results. So maybe you're a consumer, uh, sorry, excuse me, a computer science major. Maybe you've already majored and you graduated with a degree in computer science. You can search the site uh, with that as your keyword. Um, one of the tools that we really wanted to, to build right into the site right off the bat, because there are 78 results, that's a lot to go through. Um, even, even though we've narrowed it down quite a bit from 4,800, um, maybe there's a specific city that you want to work in. So you can see the different city options that you have. Um, the St. Cloud is 27th, the vast majority of them there. But you can see there are options for soft graphics and rice. Or maybe you've got a specific company in mind that you want to look through. Now you're seeing cyber coders, center care, uh, Anderson Trucking, a lot of different options. We even have multiple, but the number uh, next to the company's name denotes the number of job openings that are there that mention computer science. So really a fantastic uh, filtering tool that's available here. And you can see where we're pulling them from. This is a great example of just how diverse the amount of sites that we are going out and scraping across from. This is even only a sample of it, but you can see we are pulling jobs in from many, many different resources um, across the web as well. And then type, you can even break it down. Maybe you're looking for more, maybe you're part of the gig economy and uh, you, you, you've already got some jobs on the side and you can only afford to do some, some part-time. Uh, uh, there's none here in this case, but we've got full-time and then uh, permanent is another job type category uh, as well. So that's a good example of what it looks like to do a search uh, with computer science. Now, let's go a little bit more specific. One where I know we've got a lot of openings available is in the healthcare, um, healthcare field in nursing. So you're going to see there's 420 uh, jobs open in the, you know, just with that keyword nursing. So if you're a student listening to this and you're a nursing major, um, you're in good shape. Uh, in the greater St. Cloud area. Uh, but you can also see just the great need employers have when trying to attack, uh, attract nurses to the community. Well, here's your tool in order to help you do that. Um, you can see, once again, just to go through the filtering options, when you have a, a, a search result that generates more like in the hundreds of results, you can see almost every city, I bet, Gail, that we represent is here um, with nursing. So. Um, you can see all the different businesses. Obviously, you're going to see the healthcare, comfort keepers, many of these uh, great companies that are looking for, um, you know, people who have uh, who, who are who are nurses or, 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 or um, who are aspiring nurses as well. And then the last search that I wanted to show you is an area that, um, you know, well, actually, I've got two more. Um, technician is another area where. 
we are really focused on. And um, actually, there's a lot of different types of technicians. So um, you can look up, if, if I just go back to this example. Here we go. You can see the tire maintenance technician, surgical technician, right? Those are two very different things. And so it's really important to be as specific as possible uh, when it comes to what you're searching for. Oops. I have a little technical difficulty popping up. One moment. There it was, my X was hidden. Okay, we're back. Um, all right, so what I was getting at there, the importance of doing that search uh, and being more specific uh, in this example is that a surgical tech and a tire maintenance technician, two very different things. So try to be as specific as possible when you're doing searches or when you're encouraging people to uh, conduct their searches or teaching them how to use this site. It is very robust and you can be as specific or as broad as you would like uh, when conducting these searches. Um, and then the last one that I wanted to give you, now this time I promise it's the last example, is in the construction uh, industry here. So a lot of, again, a lot of options available uh, from that just simple drop down menu. You can see all the, you know, whether it's a spray foam insulator or, you know, just general construction coordinator, uh, project management. Things like that. We're getting a lot of a, a lot of results again here. But you know, when it comes to technician and construction, these are two of the areas. Uh, also, drivers. Um, these are areas that the Greater Saint Cloud Development Corporation are really focused on, uh, as far as the talent uh, efforts go from the organization in order to promote. Because there are a lot of employers with those needs, and there's a lot of fantastic jobs available um, in that. Uh, in those in those um, uh, area of fields uh, of work, if you will. So um, you could, I could play around with this all day and show you different, so many examples, um, and you could keep coming back to the site. But say you've got one specific search that you are just really feeling like, boy, if I find a job with this search result, I'm I'm going to be interested. And I'm going to be uh, probably applying to a position that opens up there. So just to narrow it down, give you three results here. Maybe for some reason there just isn't the, the company that you're looking for here, or the job you know you you, you want to you're, you're looking for a spray foam in, uh, installer. You're looking for that position. Well, if you want to if you want to save this search just in case another business um, ends up posting a job and you don't come on here every single day to check it out, um, you can just simply enter your email. and hit save search. Now, when there's a new job that comes on with your search criteria listed, we will automatically send you an email to your inbox or the email that you entered in there and send you that new opening. So you can be on top of it because it is such a tight labor market. Um, when jobs are being posted, uh, we're seeing people apply for them, but employers are, are still are, are looking for that applicant that, that is responsive and quick. So uh, it's a great way if you're if you're an employer um, to tell your applicants, hey, here's a tool that they could use in order to find new openings at our organization as we continue to grow. Or also, um, if you're a job seeker, just to stay on top of it to know when that perfect job uh, does become available to you. Great tool uh, to use on both <clears throat> both fronts. Next, I'm going to dive into some of the job seeker resources, and I'm not going to spend uh, too much time here, just a couple of minutes going through the job seeker resources. <clears throat> First and foremost, the site is always a, a great tool, but we've got some great job prep tools. And once again, this is all really specific to the St. Cloud area. We've got networking groups um, that we highlight uh, a bunch of links that are going to be available uh, to, and if they, you can click on some tips here for local tips on how to network. You know, just a bunch of great 
uh, fantastic resources. When it comes to networking, um, you can get a good view of all the other tools that we have here, interview tips, um, and then frequently asked questions as well. Go to the, re uh, the resume. I just want to showcase something that, again, um, Luke mentioned earlier, um, if you have feedback or ideas on how to continue to enhance the site, this is a prime example of where we just um, brought together more resources on this resume page. So if you scroll down, it talks first about your cover letter, and then it gives you an option to download a cover letter. Um, and then if you keep scrolling down, there is the opportunity to, um, again, download a sample resume. And at the very bottom, we, um, somebody um, recommended to me another site, um, even below that, Luke, that if you want to um, log on, it, it allows you many opportunities to look at your resume in a variety of different formats, which is really, really cool. So again, because of the feedback I was given by someone that was using this tool, we were able to add it right into the portal to really help those job seekers, give them a variety of resume options so although we have the one option above, which is kind of a standard, now we have one that provides, um, I think, about six or eight different formats that that job seeker can use. So, and also, I'm glad you keep scrolling because this is something I also want to highlight. Um, as Luke mentioned, this is a culmination of resources from a variety of people. This is not Gail or Luke creating all this content or finding it on our own. Thank God for that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So this is an example of where career, uh, the Career Center at St. Cloud State had a number of outstanding resources that we wanted to share with all job seekers, even if they weren't a student and maybe not able to see these resources. So um, I partnered with St. Cloud State and they were gracious enough to share these resources that now can be seen by that many more job seekers. And you'll see that on the employer side too. Um, we reached out to a number of our employers to say, you know, can you share information of how you do um, certain type of skills or things or going through the recruitment process? And it's just, again, bringing you all those resources in one spot instead of having to reach out to many. Yeah, no, thank you for that, Gail. It's, this is a really robust tool, and uh, I feel like I'm on an infomercial uh, saying this, but it's all for free. You know, it's all, it doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to go and enter your email even, uh, and it, as much as that pains me as a marketer to say that, um, this is all for free. You can go here, and so what a fantastic tool for people looking to live and work um, in the same cloud area. And then, of course, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of these pages. I don't know if you guys are, but uh, the frequently asked questions, a great, great tool for both uh, the job seekers and employers. We've got that, um, it's the same link, it's listed right under here. You can see some great, um, great answers and great questions uh, listed uh, here. Um, now, circling over to the employer side of things, employer resources. You can see we've got uh, recruiting and retention uh, tips with a whole lot of different uh, options here. And I'm just gonna click on this really quick. So once again, a lot of great local resources around um, you know, the career, uh, career and education um, as well. And then internships, just talking about, you know, really this one here, I, I get a lot of questions about this but just how to connect with local colleges to form an internship uh, program, which is a great way to uh, have a deep, engaging relationship with the colleges, but also um, create a bench for uh, long-term employees uh, as well and keep those talented students in the area um, there. And then under, uh, again, going back just to the recruiting and retention uh, tools, uh, it, it, talking about connecting with local colleges, right? And just all of the um, different area colleges that we have, um, and it goes right to their career services page. So it gives you information right at your fingertips here to be jumping around, which many of you probably are, are familiar with already, but it's a great bookmark tool to, uh, to go back to. Diversity resources, um, just tons of, uh, of great information under here that we've gathered from a variety of um, uh, area uh, experts as well to help us populate this. But once again, uh, if there's more information, this is an area that we're always hungry for more information in. 
We want to continue to uh, to add resources for area employers because it's such an important part of our local economy uh, here. So great tools there. Um, and then um, more, again, the last one that I wanted to highlight here, just fantastic tools for when it comes to um, local, once again, local and government um, you know, services as well. Um, it's just transitional job opportunities, human resource networking. I think that's something that people don't think enough about. And, and boy, what a great resource to uh, connect locally on to talk about best practices, benchmarks, uh, things like that. But uh, tons of things to highlight here. Gail, is there anything specific that you want me to uh, or you want to touch on? I would just like to reiterate the fact that there are so many resources and partners out there for you as yeah. an employer. Um, and even as a job seeker too. And again, many times we don't know who they all are. And this is our effort to get you connected to a variety of those folks. And, and again, we know this isn't 100% inclusive of all of the resources available. So again, if you don't see something here and you think it's important that I showcase that, please let us know because we can continue to add to that site. And this is our, our goal, as Ruth mentioned at the beginning, we are not 100% complete with this. We want, we know there's lots of other resources that can be added, but I do encourage you to look through this and really reach out to the ones that make sense to you as an employer or a job seeker um, and really take advantage of, again, the robust community that we have to work together um, in our recruiting and retention efforts. Yeah, and just to hit on what's on the screen here, um, what a, the Anderson Center, a great partner um, and, and, and friend of the Greater St. Cloud Development Corporation. And, but they're, all, they're uh, even more importantly, they're a fantastic professional development um, resource. So as you, you know, you have employees in the area that are wanting to advance their careers or grow within your organization. You know, we've got those links and resources here uh, available um, for everyone to view. And then, of course, um, uh, the Minnesota Department of uh, Employment and Economic Development uh, available here with links on the site and so many other different and uh, local will, resources yeah, too. Excuse me, I will chime in on uh, the work, uh, excuse me, on BEAD. There is a variety of information on there and I really encourage employers to take a look at that. Again, it's free resources. It helps you validate are you paying the right amount of salary? Um, you know, how do you compare to other employers with similar jobs in the region? It's just, an, it helps you with job posting, you know, terminology, what to use. It, it's just a wealth of knowledge. And again, all free to use. So you don't have to feel like I don't want to sign up for it. Um, and then we really challenge you to think about some of those job seekers that maybe don't already come to mind at the first all the time, you know, well, COPA is an outstanding partner about, again, they're trying to get people back to work that have disabilities and have a lot to offer. And so as you go through here, you can see um, why we have included all these folks. And, and hopefully if you have not made connection with any of them or thought about how they could fit within your complex of, complexity of your business, I really encourage you to do so because there are there are job seekers out there. Uh, sometimes we just start right away thinking of which avenue to go. Yeah, so I mean, it, it took me six years to figure out all of these resources and I'm still learning them. Um, boy, if this site was available, I just I just imagine the, the learning curve, it just shortens that learning curve so much. So if you, even if you got a new employee who's in HR and needs to know this information, here's your training manual. Um, it's a great, great tool, a great place to get started. Um, so, uh, we could spend all day on all the different resources, you know, that are, that are available here um, as well. And I, I didn't mention this yet, but it's something that I, I definitely want to call out too is the hiring veterans. I mean, this is such an important thing. We have so many veterans in our community uh, too. Um, just wanted to call that one out. Uh, just to, uh, I think it's such an important thing for for us as a country and also for our community to. Uh, to be always focused on is giving back to our veterans and giving them opportunities that they deserve. And sometimes it's as simple as just needing a connection that who can help me get to that population. And that's where these resources can help you do that. Certainly you can always feel free to reach out to me and, and I can get you a connection as well. Um, but it's just opening up your eyes to awareness to what things should you be thinking of in your recruiting and retention efforts within your organization. 
Yeah, just great little tidbits like this, you know, things that you just might not know. Absolutely. So good, good resources, good examples here. Um, just going back to the top of the menu, the living here link, that's going to take us right back to live.greatersaintcloud.com, the site that we uh, started on that talks about quality of life and the different things to do here. So I'm not going to click on that because we've already been through that. Um, but uh, this is where I want to talk about the events that we have, future webinars as we're coming down to the end here. And then of course, some of the major events that we have uh, specifically this year for employers, talent summit. Um, but you know, for you know, job, local job fairs, I'm going to click on this before we dive into and hand it off to you, Gail, um, where once again, I, I've said this probably a thousand times on this webinar, it, the fact that all this information is local, it's not, it's not sending people to Wisconsin where there's a bunch of Packer fans or, you know, down south to, to where, whatever state is warmer than us right now. This is all local information um and uh local to this community so you can see you know we're not trying to read we're not we're trying to promote the college job affairs that they have um coffee and careers uh and many uh, different uh you know just diff different networking opportunities that are available uh here but well we're really trying to help in this case specifically prepare that job seeker to be ready to speak to you as an employer um you know we hear many a times that job seekers might not be prepared enough, maybe they didn't do enough homework, they didn't look the part. So this is part of our effort to really try and help get that job seeker prepared for you as an employer when they come in and apply. But as we go into the event, um, as Joan mentioned, as she kicked off our webinar, this is our inaugural webinar series. Um, this is the first in the series of four this year. So uh, we do have three more set up for um, later on throughout the year. The next one comes up in May and we will get registration open very quickly on that one. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a subject that I'm pretty passionate about as I talk to a lot of candidates and some of their frustrations as they go through the job application process. Um, also, I talk to a lot of employers that are on the other side of that. And so we're really going to dive into really recognizing the critical importance of that um, job applicant and how important they can be to even the branding and the, the promotion of your company, even if you hire them or if you don't. So that will be in May. And then we also have um, our third webinar will really be around um, talking and thinking about the human resource role within the organization as a strategic partner in business success. And this is also going to be a subject that we will dive into deeper at Talent Summit, which is coming up in September. But this will give you a little snippet and a sneak peek about what we're going to talk about in further um, detail during the summit itself at one of the workshops. Um, and then lastly, you know, once you get these great people that you love and are going to take your company to the next level, what are you doing within your organization to really um, make sure they know that you are the best place to work at and, and so they know they can continue to grow. So that will be in October. We will have different employers join Luke and I for these webinars, um, certainly utilizing the resources that many of us have within our organization. I do want to also just jump back quickly to Talent Summit. Uh, again, as we mentioned, it will be employer focused this year. It will be a half day event. It is September 12th. So again, you can mark your calendars right now uh, so you uh, don't schedule anything else during that time. So there will be a lot more information showing up here on the website shortly, but we wanted to at least show you that it is um, located within the website, um, as well as just knowing what all events are happening within the region. So I don't want to give too much away, but I can honestly tell you there are some great webinar opportunities that you'll be able to check. Um, three out of the five, we're going to have some really engaging conversations, um, both to kick off the event and then around lunch. So definitely mark that on your calendar as something that you need to attend and want to attend. It is an incredible networking opportunity for employers to really learn from each other and to walk away from that event with ideas that you can implement immediately within your organization. And as Luke is highlighting there, um, really who should attend? We are, you know, of course, anybody can attend as an employer, but really the focus of that attendees will be our C-suite. Um, 
personnel as well as HR professionals within an organization. So again, that looks so different to many different companies, you know, be it very small company where that might be one person that does all those jobs, or it might be a very large organization that has multitudes. You can bring as many people within your organization as you like, um, but we will have registration for that as we get closer. So with that, we should probably move, oh, we should check blogs really quickly and then move to questions. Yeah, yeah, just, and then we'll just touch on this really quick. Another great spot for you know, content and educational resources, local information uh, here is that blog section. We've got it tucked away to the, in the upper right-hand corner, but you can see we've got some categories here if you're interested in certain topics locally, like we mentioned, maybe if you're interested in the veterans, you can click on that, it's gonna filter uh, all topics uh, related to uh, veterans there. Um, but a lot and you of can see there's 61 under the employer category, so as we continue to grow this, we'll probably break it out into a few more categories so it's a little bit easier. But again, you can search, type in a couple words of what you're looking to find, um, and it will bring up the blogs that have that content in the material. Yeah, so with that, um, what we're going to do then is um, we'll head back to the home page here and uh, just I'll leave it at that. But um, please, if you have questions, uh, you might have been uh, using the site as we were going through it. Uh, please feel free to ask those questions. And um, as Gail and I read through them, we will uh, we will try to address the appropriate ones one at a time. All right, sounds good. That was before we started. As far as posting jobs, I know Luke mentioned it, but again, you do not as an employer need to do anything for your job to show up here. Um, it will first, the software is first set up to pull from your own company website, and then it will pull from other job boards such as Indeed or Career Builder or Minnesota Works or those sort of things. So. So there's a couple, I'm gonna speak, there's a couple yep. questions I'm gonna answer um, in one swoop here. Um, you know, people have asked if there's certain information that they want on the site or, uh, you know, they're looking to have something added or like a school as an example uh, from the question Beth asked. Um, please shoot us a, a message about that, Gail. Do you wanna talk about the best way? Really, the, I think a couple people have asked, what's the best way to provide that information to uh, uh, you and I in order to get that, that information on the site. Absolutely, I would love to hear it. And, and on the site, um, on the very bottom of the page, there is uh, that you can contact us and that email goes right to me. Um, I think that is the best way for you to do that. Um, and then once we receive that additional information, um, we will look through it and again, see if it is something that can service the point of the portal and, and really enhance the portal in the resources. And then we will look at the most uh, efficient way to get that on the portal as well. So um, my email is, I don't know, Luke might be typing that out as we go, um, but you certainly can reach out to me directly for that. So, and I see there's one question that says, why do you have email address? Um, on the search page, and I think Luke went through that with, that's how you can create your saved searches. So again, you don't have to fill in your email address, that's just if you wanna create a saved search, um, that will allow you to do that. Yeah, exactly, totally optional. You don't need to enter your email address there, but by entering it, um, whatever search you had conducted, that's what we're gonna save and send to you um, when, when uh, new jobs are, are posted on there. And I think we answered Sarah's position. It, yes, it should pull, it does pull from Indeed. Um, you might have seen when Luke was going through some of those samples, there's a variety of different job boards that were showing up. Um, if for some reason you do not see your jobs on here, um, again, feel free to reach out to me and, and I will, I'm in constant contact with our vendor that is doing the scraping each night and a few companies we have had to add manually and we are certainly able to do that. So um, please make sure um, that you do reach out to me if you're not seeing your job. One of the things that I do recommend, um, Luke has shown you the FAQ section. There is an FAQ section that answers some of those basic questions about why my job might not be showing. You might wanna check that first prior to reaching out to me but certainly we want to know why if there's a reason some of them are not 
we will definitely get that fixed. Just to highlight, um, we do post all, it is pulling all jobs from the three county areas, so Benton, Stearns, and Sherburne County. So any, if, as long as the job identifies those cities with zip code, it, it should be pulling. Um, if for some reason it does not identify St. Cloud, Minnesota, there's no way for that scrape to pull that. We had that come up with one job, and so now that company has gone back and made that change on their end. So now it's saying St. Cloud, Minnesota as the location. They were saying Central Minnesota. Um, and so we were able to make that change and now their job will be showing up on the site. So sometimes it's just those little tweaks that we can easily and quickly fix to allow your job to be there if for some reason it's not. Um, Great, so another question came in about the vetting and, uh, from postings uh, from other sites. Um, we do, we are vetting through, we're looking for certain qualifications in order for the job to show up on the site. It's gotta be local, it's gotta fit in that area that we have defined, um, as Gail mentioned, and if it's not, we help employers get listed too. Um, the, we've run into some cases where employers might post jobs as, as PDFs on their site, we can't pull those jobs, so we, we'll work with employers to get to make sure that their jobs do pull up uh, on the site. Um, and we do pull from mass sites um, like Indeed uh, as well. And if, say, for example, you've got that job posting on Indeed and you have the exact same job posting on Craigslist or uh, jobs.us, um, wherever, uh, really our site is going to vet out and um, automatically uh, get rid of those duplicates. And so you're not seeing multiple of the same jobs up there. Now, if you do write uh, the job description a little bit differently or you write the title a little bit differently, but it's essentially for the same position, we are gonna be pulling in both those jobs just because there's no way for us to tell you're looking for only one uh, employee on that end. So um, if, you, if you don't want your jobs, jobs to show up multiple, don't, keep the description and title the same. Uh, as well, but continue to work with us too, because we will uh, will help make sure your site gets on. I think in every in every case we've worked with, we've been able to get the, the jobs pulling. So no problem too big for us. Exactly. Or Gail, at least. And, and I will say there has been really very few to this point. Um, I have been pleasantly surprised too that we know that we have got a great product here because there's been very few employers that have reached out to say that they have their jobs haven't been on. Um, the portal even to start. So, um, and the one that Luke just highlighted, Steph, you know, if you want to reach out to me specifically, certainly feel free to, but you don't have to post your jobs anymore. It's an automatic thing. Um, and so we can talk through how you're posting. Uh, a lot of times what I will ask you is what sites are you posting on? And then if you send me the links, I can send them directly to the vendor. So it works out incredibly well. They're quick at getting it turned around. Um, and so then your job can be um, visible to all. And just to reiterate, so if you fill your job and you take it off of your website, it's going to come down off of this site, you know, on the next trace that it goes through. So again, you don't have to worry that these jobs are out there past being, you know, posted from your standpoint. The only thing I would say is make sure that you know all of the sites that your jobs are being sold to. Um, so in case there's something that's not coming down from a job site, then that might show, be reason why your job might still be showing here. So we have found a few occasions where the employer didn't know that their jobs were actually on that site and it wasn't automatically pulling them down. And so therefore their job was showing on our portal until we got that fixed. So with that, I think we are at 12.57 according to my watch. Yeah, 12.58 now. So if you have further questions, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to answer those for you. And if I don't have an answer, I will get it for you. Um, we hope that you have found this webinar helpful. I thank Luke for us being our tour guide through our wonderful portal that we have brought to you for the St. Cloud community. So thank you so very much. Luke, anything you want to add before we sign off? 
Uh, no, just um, just once again, you know, I know we've mentioned this a few times, and we've gotten some questions on there that we might not have directly addressed. Um, some of them were comments, and we're, we're definitely going to get to those. And, and, and so, thank you. We're already getting some really good feedback, and we're going to look into that. Um, continue to do so. This is a work in progress. Um, you know, I wanted to mention that, and I've gotten some great comments that people are going to go and share this site already. So. Um, Please follow suit with people who are commenting that. And, um, you know, we had a great, great showing today. 45 uh, people, I think, were at once on the uh, on the webinar here. So we're getting a lot of positive feedback already, but um, continue to share this. Let's keep this momentum going and uh, continue to make Greater St. Cloud a, a awesome place to live and work. So thanks again and sign up for those next webinars.